Here to make their case are Mike Stark, reporter for FireDogLake.com, and Tim Carney, lobbying editor and columnist for the Washington Examiner. Tim, what's wrong with this video? Well, our country is supposed to be, the presidency is supposed to be about a position and about the powers there and not about the man. And this sort of thing with, where they're exalting the man, they're exalting his accomplishments, that's different from, you know, a Black History Month story of Barack Obama making it Tim, up. Tim, he's the president of the United States. He's the president of the United States, but again, this praise him for how he's risen to that position from where he started. But making kids, I went to New York State Public School. I suffered through some of this sort of indoctrination alongside a great education. But again, making them praise his accomplishments, making them praise well, Tim, his equal pay for equal the yeah, equal pay for equal work law. That's oh, you something don't, you don't believe in equal pay for equal work. I believe in equal pay. I, I'd love to make equal pay to, to you ladies, but I don't. And I believe that the government shouldn't be in the business of enforcing what an employer face, uh, pays an employee. That's a position that's debated in American politics. It's fine positions on either side; both are respectable. But to force kids to take a position on this political uh, this political question, that's indoctrination. That's not just praising our president or praising uh, a man, uh, you know, a great black man. Mike, you want to make your case? Yeah, this is just the latest silly contretemps for the uh, right-wing bloggers and uh, talk radio show hosts and teabaggers to get in high dungeon over. Wait, teabaggers? Te Listen. Explain, to the, explain to the viewers what you mean by teabaggers. Do your kids watch this show? Do you want to explain well, to them what you mean? Why do you, you're you talking about silly contretemps and you're you using a vulgar term? I want to speak without being interrupted and I want to I'm sorry, you're being vulgar if on this national television. No, let's, let, let's, let's give Tim, sorry. I gave you a chance. Let Mike explain, okay? Go ahead, Mike. If this was, direct, if this was directed from the White House, if this was government-sponsored, I'd be right there with you calling out. Uh, concern for this, but this wasn't. This was some teacher in some school somewhere in this great United States of ours that taught some kids a song. Listen, let's talk about where this is really coming from. This is coming from Rush Limbaugh calling Barack Obama a Nazi. The parallels to the Nazi youth movement are all over the right-wing blogosphere. It's coming from Glenn Beck calling the president a racist. These folks lead the charge. All their little lackeys on talk radio like Mark Levin and Laura Ingraham fire it up. The bloggers get involved, and it's absolutely silly. A real news story would be the textbook controversy down in Texas, where they really are trying to indoctrinate children by writing out uh, evolution in favor of creationism and writing civil war, war heroes or uh, civil rights heroes out of the history of the United States. I've got a problem with that. This this is marginal. It's, it's a fake controversy. It's just something else for right-wingers to wet the bed over. Because, Tim, because isn't, MSNBC isn't... is right-wingers here, and they're the ones who brought us on for this one. Sorry, go ahead. No, Tim, I just, I just wanted to get your take on that. I mean, this is children, they're singing a song. And I just am not clear myself, if you could make your point again about why mm -hmm. this is indoctrination, political indoctrination to praise your president. I remember, certainly in elementary school, when Ronald Reagan was president, and we sent him jelly beans, we designed all these things about Ronald Reagan, we sent them to him. And I don't and think everybody in the class ended up a Republican did because you of sing that. A song, did you sing a song praising the 1981 Kemp Roth tax cuts? Because we sure didn't. I mean, I know I had history teachers who were very well, biased. I don't see anything about tax cuts in no, here. It's I, see this, I actually see this as more nationalistic than I do political because it's all about praising the president and, and making our country great again. I don't see anything as like anything about, you know, exactly um, they're, they're praising specific you know, from the policies. Policies. Let's give health care to everybody or, you know, no more tax cuts. I mean, there's really nothing in there that's actually that controversial. They talk about all his great accomplishments, which, of course, is a reference. I mean, that's a reference well, to his policy. Why can't we respect our leaders, whether they're a Democrat or a Republican? I'm, I'm great into respecting leaders. You should ask uh, your friend Mike Stark there about respecting leaders, about how he, you know, runs up and harasses politicians on the street. I mean, the fact is, it's great to respect leaders. It's great to praise Barack Obama. His personal story is amazing. I want every kid to know that story. But again, praising specific policies that he passes is politicizing the classroom. And I suffered through this in New York State public schools where they made us write letters to the governor opposing tax cuts and that sort of thing. And I, 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 I know really how like this goes. Know, where in the language of that song do you see specific policies? Because I'm, Again, the, I'm really the, at a loss here. The, the Lilly yeah. Ledbetter uh, Pay Act, which was lobbied what? for by, look at the, I, I cover lobbying, look at the lobbying registrations for trial lawyers. The words the, Lilly Ledbetter you, were in there? The, no. The, the yeah. words trial lawyers were in there? It says I mean, he on, made man. there be equal pay for equal, and, equal work and, for Equal Tim, pay. That, and he did that through Tim, a specific that was policy. Overwhelmingly, too. There were a number you of Republicans who voted for that. that. Mike Stark Tell me and Tim Carney. I apologize. We're out of time. I think Thanks this is guys. a good discussion, um, and Thanks I appreciate having you both on. Thanks so much. Thank you.